Welcome back. It's me, Jack Paul Crate. And uh, Saturday I went to uh, the Niles Public Library Nerf War and had a lot of fun. Uh, I thought I'd go over some of the gear that I had. Uh, another loadout video, so this is loadout video number two. So we'll go over some of the guns that I had, some of the gear I used. Basically, I'm going to go over everything that I took with me, and then I'll show you how it ran, and how I did it, and how it worked for me. So the first gun we have is the Sledgefire. Uh, I got this from a friend uh, that attended another Nerf War, and uh, I didn't get to use this personally. I had a uh, friend, a person there wanted to use it, so I let him use it. Um, I think it worked pretty well for him. It's, uh, the only modif the modifications I've done is I took out the air restrictor, I took out a lock, and then I also beefed up the spring for these guys so they really fly now. Again, there we are. So that actually flies out pretty good. Um, yeah, so that's that one. Next up, we have the Rampage with a 25 dart drum. I used this for one war and uh, was satisfied uh, to the extent that it worked. Um, it did jam halfway through battle, so I had to go to my secondary uh, the modifications to this guy. I think uh, the priming locks out, um, the lock that you can't push that in is out, just a few different locks. The air restrictors out on this one. Uh, nothing else is really. I think the seal was enhanced a little bit and the things were reinforced a little bit. I also got this from the friend that I got the ledge fire from. Uh, which included the 25 dark drum too, which was kind of happy about. This guy did fairly well. Next up, we have my uh, Busby Barbarian with the Raider uh, handle integrated, stock point, and better grip. Uh, I use this for one more. I enjoyed playing with it. Uh, because it was so close quarters combat, you really couldn't refill the thing very quickly, uh, very easily, so I ran through about the whole cylinder and then I went to my secondary. Um, otherwise, it did good. A uh, few people were impressed with this. Uh, Brando being one who said that he enjoyed the putty work, so thank you for that, Brando. Um, and that'll be done for that. Pull that out. See everything else. So this guy worked great, just the way I had thought he was going. Next up, we have my secondary, the Busby Reaper. Uh, this one served me so well. Uh, usually through the war, when I go out of my primary gun, I go out through all my ammo. I put that to the side, and I pick this guy up along with my leg holster that I have the extra mags with. And this guy served me beautifully. I will never, I don't think I'll ever use another secondary uh, sidearm that I have on my sling. Uh, this guy just worked. Beautifully. I love this gun. Next up we have my hammer shot with the stock attachment point and the seven dart barrel. Uh, this guy I pulled out a few times. I really couldn't uh, put down and pull out real quick. Um, I think I got maybe a kill or two with this one. I'm not quite sure. Uh, this guy served me well. Just put it in my right holster and um, worked fine. Everything was Turning right. Uh, it never actually attaches stock. I never actually do because uh, we never actually played pistol rounds yet. All right. So I don't know if I've ever actually shown this yet. Um, I have hinted to it maybe in a few different things. I sent a blowgun to Captain Xavier. If you want to see that video, I don't know where it's at. If I do find it, it'll be down in the description. Um, but this is my this piece here is my 30 inch uh, elite firing them and it has a perfect fit so this has been my gun and it's my whole thing for about a year and a half now I think I finally figured out how to do it um, and it's worked great oh, I love building these things um, I've sold a few of them uh, and I will be making soon I will be making more of these so if you ever see me at another nerf war and you want one of these ask me and I'll tell you everything that goes on with that uh, the stock the pivot points have been 3D printed um, and screwed together. Uh, basically, it's a ratcheting system sort of thing. Basically, you loosen up, there's a screw in there, or a, a bolt, nut and bolt, you loosen that up, you can pull it out and you can turn it uh, a few degrees and then put it back down and tighten it. And that's how you get that nice angle. Um, as you can see, it's kind of filtered to the left, or you know, in my case, and so then it can go in my arm and then this will come up to my mouth. 
uh, so I can blow up. Uh, this thing worked okay. Um, I wish I would have taken my my red uh, waffle tip darts because those are about the only thing that's accurate enough for this blowgun because the darts that come out of this thing are fast and accurate and they go super far. I love blowguns. I have always loved blowguns. I am the blowgun guy. So I took my Nerf machetes. Uh, I let a few people use these. They always like putting them in their belts or whatever. I really don't care because they're pretty durable and I haven't had anything to break yet. There's always nicks and scratches, but that always happens with foam weapons and I really don't care anymore. So um, all the paint is rubbed off the handle. Um, I'll just kind of see if it peels off. Really not worth it, but, um, so yeah, people like using these. I usually just take these and be like, hey, if you want to use them, go for it. Uh, so these work, I think, pretty good for people. Um, I really don't know because I didn't see it too much. I didn't get tagged by them. Um, but yeah, always nice to just take these and let people use them. The foam sword and the foam machete, I never did a video on these. I should have because the build process was so much fun building these. Um, basically it's just EVA foam that you cut up and sand down and it has a fiberglass uh, rod. And this one also has a fiberglass rod but I had to cut it because I messed up the handle somehow and then I put a 1032 rod, um, threaded rod through about here to here which is inside the um, fiberglass tube. Uh, the fiberglass rod was uh, a golf club <laughs> handle. Uh, I think Odin Makes did a video on that so if you want to see how he did that link in the description. Um, yeah so I didn't get to use these. The only time I ever used these or would ever use these I still haven't used them yet. I, nothing. I still not use these. I really want to. Um, humans versus zombies because usually the ones that I attend are just small and they go really quick, so to make the game longer, they always let people use foam weapons. So that's what I have there. Still haven't used them. I really wish I would have, could have, but I had fun making them, and they will be used sooner or later. So that's what I've got there. All right, on to gear. All right, battle belt. So this guy I used all night. I think I had this thing on all night. Even before the war started, I had it on. I didn't switch anything out. I just always had my hammer shot, my two clips on my left, or magazines, clip magazines, whatever you want to call them. Uh, stuffed in there. I had my hammer shot stuffed in there. Clipped onto my legs. And this worked great, especially for my reaper. Um, whenever I go through my clip, I take that out. I set that down somewhere, pull out a clip, and slam it in and keep going. Um, definitely it saved me a few times, this guy. Hammer shot, as I said before, I don't know if I really pulled it out too many times because I had two other guns on me usually. Um, so yeah, worked great. Had fun with them. Uh, definitely keep using this. Oh man, I love this. I got that for like two bucks. At Google. I always keep saying that, but I did and it, well, it just works. Uh, Alright. Alright, so these are all the clips I took. The Plus B or Air Warriors 20, uh, 4 18 dart clips, a 12 dart mag, and a 25 dart mag. Brought duct tape too. Last but not least, I have my hat that holds my GoPro season or session. I don't know what the hell it goes. So that's the little guy there. Uh, I am very happy with this. I like it a lot. I don't know. I think they go for about $150 now. It records 1080 at 30 frames, no, 60 frames a second, so that's why I like using this one a lot. Um, I really like this, the video quality is great, it picks up sound like no tomorrow. Uh, basically what I did is I just, there's a sticky pad, so you stick it to the bill of the hat, and then I put a zip tie around it just so then it definitely wasn't coming off. And then that just slips in there, and you pop it down, you press the button, and it goes, and that's that. Yeah, that's it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe um, if you watch this video. And I guess we'll be catching you on the next video.